ever thought how a paper record can save women's life? That's very interesting. Today, we are going to think about, read about, and know how to fill what is called a menstrual chart. It's very simple, but see how you can save your life or your relative's life. For women, menstruation is like a monthly affair. Whenever women come to doctor with um, irregular period problems, the doctors, particularly us, the gynecologists, we have to become Sherlock Holmes to find out the hidden clues behind the pattern of the periods. The date of the period is not a date, it's a pattern that is very important. The period pattern over last four to six months can tell you awful lot about your health and actually can guide the doctor which treatment to choose for you, particularly a medical treatment or surgical treatment and so on. Now, if I ask a woman when you had your last period, everybody will say this date and that month and all these kind of things very readily. But if I ask you when you had your periods or last four to six months, most of the women stumbles. They tend to correlate between a social event and their period time. Oh, I went to the birthday party and I had this unusual moment or in the office I had this meeting and then something started or someone asks our husband to find out the date, which is okay. But what is most important is to be aware of the pattern of the menstruation. Now, most women will have a menstrual pattern that is personal to her, that is unique to her. Everyone has got their own rhythm. When the menstrual rhythm breaks or when things become irregular, it's the time to think about what is going on and in some cases go to the doctor. Now, when you come to the doctor, we want to know about your period patterns for the last four to six months or maybe a little bit more. And today we are going to discuss about this menstrual chart, how you can record this. It's very simple. We are going to look into this very detailed, but overall, it just records how many days you bled, whether you moved a clot or you flooded out or if the bleeding was small or quite heavy or it was associated with the pain. Or sometimes you have got also the scope to record if you took any medication for your period problems, which the doctors have prescribed to you. So these are very important. Now let's look into it, how to maintain a menstrual chart. For a menstrual chart, you need to know what are the different parts of menstrual chart? On the top, you have got place to write that your name, address and year. Year is particularly important because uh, when we mention January, February, March, April, it doesn't mention about the year. You also need to write the phone number so that the doctor can ring you back to find out more details about menstrual chart after you have submitted it. On top right corner, you have got our contact details, contact phone number, so that if you need any assistance from filling up the form, you can get in touch with us. Below that, in the middle part, there are uh, places to document various dates and everything, which I'm coming in a minute. But let's look into the bottom part of the menstrual chart. There are various indicators for type of flow. Suppose if you have got normal flow, then you need to write an X, small X in that um, uh, square that we will mention. And if the bleeding is exceptionally light, then you will need to write a small plus sign. If it is very heavy, then you need to black it out fully, the square. And if it is a spotting, then just put a dot in the small squares. Now, look into the medium part of this menstrual chart, which is main part of the menstrual chart. That against the January, there are a few dates from 1 to 31st. And suppose your period was in January from 4, 5, 6, 7. So you need to write the amount of the flow. And if it is normal, then you write small x on 4, 5, 6, 7. If it was exceptionally light on day 7, you need to write the small plus sign. If it is an exceptionally heavy period, maybe on 8th, you need to fill up the box fully black. So that's how you measure and record in February. But coming to month of May, you will most likely forget about what went in January. So it is a good practice to fill it up the menstrual chart every month in real time. Never try to, you know, backward remember and fill it up because that can be prone to error. 
So that's how we maintain the menstrual chart. It is very easy. These are type of the flow. Now, apart from that, you can also write the amount of the pain you experienced. This may not only coincide with the bleeding time, it may precede the bleeding time or it may follow the bleeding time. So you can write P in all the boxes where you had the pain, all the dates where you had the pain. Suppose you had the bleeding on 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th January. But before that, 1 1st January and 2nd January, you had pain. 3rd January, you had pain too. So you can write P in each of the boxes, 1st, 2nd and 3rd January. This helps the doctor to decide that as the bleeding starts, the pain decreases which is very good as you can see yourself. Of course, if you have got any difficulty in filling up the form, you can get in touch with us or someone of our team and that's all. It's very simple and easy. So, we have learned how to fill up the menstrual chart in real time. As a good practice, try to fill up the form as you are having your periods or experiencing pain because it's, it's very easy to say that, oh, I will, I will uh, write it after seven days, but after seven days, you may forget the intricate details what exactly happened about the bleeding seven days back because you are busy, isn't it? So therefore, that's how to maintain the menstrual chart. If you have got any difficulties, get in touch with us, but this is going to ha give your doctors a great deal of information about your health. So all the very best. Until then, have a good day.